Next week, former Democratic Governor Martin O'Malley is expected to officially announce that he is running for president, although he's been bouncing between 1 and 3 percent of national polls. 11 News reporter David Collins discovered today that some political experts believe he has a shot. David joins us now live from O'Malley's new campaign headquarters with more. That's new at 6 tonight. David. Well, Donna, staff is still moving into O'Malley's new campaign headquarters here on St. Paul Street. Although, more often than not, Martin O'Malley has been a political underdog and White House bid is obviously on a bigger stage, his resolve is the same. There is a national interest. There is a common good. Martin O'Malley carries the seeds of presidential timber, according to some political observers. To me, he's not somebody that you discount. Arguably, the public considers him likable, a good speaker. His track record plays well to the political left, and he has executive experience. He still does have a chance. He, he's someone who's a governor who has a record that he can, he can stand on. Uh, but again, it's still an uphill battle at this point. Hillary Clinton is already on the top of the hill. O'Malley faces fundraising challenges, and despite his repeated visits to Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina, he barely registers in the polls. Some suggest he may not even carry his home state. But the path to the presidency doesn't go through Maryland. A Goucher poll conducted in March indicates the former governor does have strong support among Maryland Democrats and young people in general. When you lose, lie down. He was a youthful governor. He had a lot of appeal to young people. Um, I think the, one of the, our, everybody's favorite memories of Martin O'Malley is him playing in a band. And a lot of the national media has picked up with that as well. So I think among young people, he does present himself as a very, very young presidential candidate. What good, decent. O'Malley casts Baltimore as the comeback city, suggesting it started when he was at the helm as mayor. Some believe he chose Federal Hill to showcase the city he loves. With that beautiful backdrop of the thriving Inner Harbor, paints a picture of what he had done for the city in his time as mayor. O'Malley canceled overseas speaking engagements to visit areas ravaged by unrest. Critics say, in part, was fueled by the former mayor's zero tolerance policing policy. On the campaign trail, O'Malley is expected to emphasize his tenure as mayor and governor. He'd also have to talk about some new ideas. O'Malley recently opened a campaign headquarters on St. Paul Street, lined up a treasurer, a finance chairman, a media consultant, and a national policy director. I think the goal for him is that if he announces, and once he announces that there will be this groundswell of support. O'Malley is officially expected to announce his bid for the presidency 10 a.m. May 30th from Federal Hill. Reporting live from Midtown, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.